Being an employer of choice means that the university is committed to a culture which is inclusive, which values difference, which recognises that women have a real contribution to make, whether that contribution is in an academic field or in an administrative field, women have an opportunity in this university to participate fully in the governing and decision-making structures of the university. I believe Griffith has outstanding opportunities for women in the leadership and giving them the opportunities to aspire to leadership. So the most important thing we can do is recruit great women at all levels of the organisation, give them serious responsibility, give them the mentoring and support that they need to make their career as good as it can be. Uh, and then we do a range of more formal programs around that, including Leadership Program or Athena Swan. But that should be the structure around the primary goal, which is making sure we get good women in the door and then give them a good career while they're here. Griffith's provided me with really wonderful opportunities to combine the theory of research with the practice of law in the areas that I'm really interested in. What I really love about working at Griffith and my role is working every day with elite athletes and helping them on their journey, seeing them succeed in sport but also academically at the same time. The best thing about working at Griffith is the wonderful people that I get to work with every day. It's amazing to sit in meetings and look around the room and, and see that people are really making an impact on their chosen areas of expertise. Um, and it's just amazing to have the opportunity to investigate an issue that really intrigues you and then be a catalyst for change in that area. Well, one of the things that makes Griffith special to me is that I feel really supported by the leadership, by people who have you know, seen the work that I've done and really invested in giving me access to resources to do the best work possible. Griffith has really given me um, a role that I'm passionate about and something that I'm really enjoying and, and being able to come into the sport industry and help other athletes, you know, go along the journey that I have previously and this role is, is something that I really enjoy so it's giving me a passion and an outlet that way and then obviously helping athletes at the same time. Griffith has supported me both in terms of the research that I do, but also in terms of the engagement work that I'm really passionate about. It's given me opportunities to speak to the general public, to develop programming for women on campus, and really kind of push the envelope in terms of equity work. Over the past decade, we've seen uh, larger numbers of women moving into management and leadership positions in the university. Um, that's not been by accident. The university has a very deliberate strategy aimed at ensuring participation by women in management and leadership roles. I feel very strongly about leadership in every area we are. It doesn't matter whether we actually bear the title of leader. I think role models are very important for all of us. I think for women, seeing women in senior roles in the universities talk to uh, an aspiration that they may have and it lets young women particularly know that that aspiration can be achieved. If you have an aspiration for leadership, take risks and be prepared to volunteer to put yourself forward. Uh, but also if you're seeing structures and processes and policies that get in your way when you're doing that, uh, be prepared to call those out as well. It shouldn't just all be about individual women aspiring to leadership. It should also be about making sure that we have an organisational culture and structures that allow them to achieve that ambition if they have the talent. I went to an all-girls Catholic high school and I didn't have a lot of female role models for successful scientists and now I feel like I need to be that role model for young women. I need to be out there representing science and saying, look, you can do it, you can be a scientist. I did it, you can do it too. And I was the only mother to ever get to assistant commissioner of police in 150 years. The fourth woman and the only mother. As a woman who's so senior, there are not many of us around. You cannot be what you cannot see. So my advice to young women is give it a go. You never know where uh, your career can take you and unless you take opportunities and take chances, you'll miss out on some great things in your life. Everyone is a leader if they have any sort of career. There will be some point in time where they have to set the example and take the lead.